Hello my friends and welcome to how to get veterans. Well guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I get my veterans. I'm going to show you different units. As you can see, I have two uh, missing veterans there. You might not have the same, it might be different situation, but I will show you all the tricks that I know. To begin with, veterans are very very important in Guns Up Mobile. Uh, let's, for example, a rank 3 commando will have... Uh, way 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 better shooting and HP than any other units in the game so it's worth it with veterans you can win battles easier use them get them focus on them so let's say we start a normal battle I don't have um, let's say I don't have the the riot I can use the bounty hunter, I can use the engineer, someone to soak up the damage. And then, it's a must to use the medic, it's a must to use the sergeant if you have them. They are going to boost a lot of uh, your unit's damage, your, if you have a good sergeant, is going to the reload speed is going to be faster, and the medic is going to constantly heal. So definitely get those. I'm going to speed up a little bit the battle, and I'm going to talk through it and I'll tell you what I do so in this first part we are going to try to get um, two commandos veterans that's what we need I have four already I need only two so first of all try to identify the the most threat so I am now at CC7 the battles are a little bit more complicated if you are CC4 or CC five or whatever it's going to be a little bit easier so why do i spawn all the veterans i spawn uh, as many commandos as possible while i'm spamming on the riots sergeants and medics i'm going to stop spawning medics and riot uh, medics and uh, sergeants after i have enough so i use the focus fire there because i wanted to get the walls down that's extra damage dealt by my unit now use everything you can to stop everything that shoots at you. So tear gas, decoys, help your units to be able to shoot and obviously um, stay alive for the whole battle. So here we are. I'm going to use the focus fire again on that AA. In case I struggle here, I can use my missile, I can use the fire bomb, I can use everything. I'll put a decoy down and I will just wait for my units to clear up everything. I can see I already got two veterans there. I'm happy with it and that's going to be my job done here. But then in a while we're going to move on getting the snipers. Again, the same process. You take your medics with you, you take your, um, your sergeants and a tank. It could be Riot. Riot is the best, could be Bounty Hunter, could be engineer all of them can take some damage so try to find a base that suits you guys for me for example if i see a base like that with two riots i know because i have the riots i know my units are going to deal a lot of damage to those riots so this is the case i'm going to get rid of that mortar straight away that's something that i know is going to to damage most of my units I'm going to use the bombing run straight away to try to clear the path and have an easy ride there I'm going to spawn um, all my veterans because as I said the battles for me are really complicated if it was an easier battle I wouldn't spawn my veterans I will just spawn snipers so trying to get snipers is not that easy um, I'm going to show you I'm going to get one or two anyway in this battle so I'm going to use the focus fire mainly on the main threats that I can see in that case for me it was the the veterans commandos now the other threat there is the mortar all the way there um, normally it clears up more units so I'm going to use all my focus fire where I can and I'm going to clear as much as possible I want to make sure in case I struggle I will have a way out so the AA again loads of walls around I want the damage I want my uh, my uh, snipers to shoot as much as possible because they are behind 
it takes a while for them to to push forward and when you have commandos when you have units that deal a lot of damage it's not enough for the snipers you know so i'm going to try to get rid of that uh, that commander rank 3 veteran that's going to deal the most damage but i i'm not aiming on getting riots veterans so that doesn't matter if they if they fail i want my snipers and uh, my commandos in this case if i knew i could uh, win this battle without spawning the veterans it would have been way better but i i know i would have struggled so let's make it fair if we get one or two snipers that's going to be it but repeat repeat the process it can get easier battles i choose those battles because it guarantees me of getting loads of veterans at the end i'm going to show you when we finish the battle because um it, there is another trick there guys you can actually stop your units with the the tear gas and that gives the snipers a chance to come closer focus fire at the end on the hq the outpost it's necessary because that gives all your units a chance to shoot so as you can see i already upgraded two of my commandos and you can see as i expected one or two um snipers that's because it was a hard battle and i spawned my veterans which they're rank free they're dealing loads of damage and everything now a base like this guys again it could be absolutely brilliant I'm going to focus on this fight now on getting Grenadiers veterans. They deal a lot of damage, they are really good, most of you are using them, so let's focus on that. First of all, again, identify all the threat that you can see. In my case, I don't know what's behind that wall. It could be one barrel, it could be ten barrels. So I'm not going to risk it, I'm just going to use the firebomb straight away. It was one barrel, I could have risked it my transport truck would be okay now there's the choke point I'm going to use the focus fire a little bit later on the choke point uh, I know uh, I'm probably not going to get rid of all of it because I'm going to spawn mainly uh, grenadiers and I'm going to spawn my three veterans that I want to to rank up to the last veteran level so here we are loads of riots there again I know my uh, units are going to deal an enormous amount of damage attacking them which it's absolutely perfect um, there is to something to mention the veterans carry XP to the next battle so let's say you dealt 90% of the damage necessary to upgrade to the next level they will have 90% when you start your next battle so let's assume my uh, commandos are not going to rank up to rank 3 in this battle well next battle I am almost guaranteed that they are going to rank up so that's a good thing that makes it easier so as I said I use my focus fire on the choke point I'm going to use the rally flag to get my units together and to give the base a chance to spawn more riots because riots at this stage in battle they are not really dangerous for me my medics are but the medics are going to actually heal whatever the the riots whatever damage the riots uh, are going to do on my unit so that's great now the focus fire was meant to get rid of the walls i kind of forgot i spawned mainly only grenadiers so here we are that's the the choke point i know if i really want i can get rid of the whole choke point with uh, with missiles and that as i just showed you there even if I miss one, I can do it. I'll just put a bombing run. Um, well, normally you shouldn't. If you if you can get rid of it without using any bombs, let your units deal damage. That's the main thing. You have to protect them and give them a chance to actually shoot. So here we are at the end of the battle. I normally choose uh, riot bases. If it's a rocketeer, I don't mind. If it's a one, if it's one commando again, I don't mind. But that's because I have the the right units for those bases. If you don't have, try to avoid bases like this. Um, try to get a base that has units that you can actually uh, get rid of easy. Now I'm going to use my rally flag. That is going to give the outpost a chance to spawn another unit. And right, guys, 
one unit I know is not much, but it's, it could be the the moment where your uh, your veterans just rank up straight away. So here we are, end of the battle. Now let's see how many veterans we got in that battle. Um, I assume quite a lot, and you can see loads of grenadiers, riots, everything you need. That's how I normally do it. And then obviously I pick whatever unit I want and I do the process again. Now let me show you another battle guys. This could be different. This could be something that uh, you should choose if you have the kind of units that I have. Sharpshooters and two riots is one of the best. I'm going to show you how to rank up them to, to rank 3 now. Uh, in my case my commandos because that's why I use and sometimes I use riots. Riots are the easiest to to get to rank free in my opinion. They they just take a lot of damage. So why did there? As usual. I got rid of the mortar. I tried to get rid of the other one. It didn't work, but I did make everything as weak as possible. Because a choke point is dangerous for all your units. But if it's if it's not a crazy choke point. It's good to let your units shoot. Now I'm going to spawn my three um, commandos that I want rank free, and here we are. The best thing about bombing run, sometimes the sandbags are not uh, leveled up, and one bombing run will actually push all the units forward. In my case, it did the exact thing that I wanted to do. Um, the riots, the veterans came forward. So as you can see, I already have one rank three uh, commando. Now I'm going to spawn as many medics, as many sergeants, and as many riots as possible, and see where I am. Because if I do struggle, obviously I'll need to spawn uh, another commando. So I'm going to use the focus fire to kind of know where I am. I should have waited another second for my uh, my units to go forward, but it is enough to get rid of some of the walls that I wanted. And as I said, the sandbags are not upgraded. So here we are. All the the units are going to push forward. I have one um, tear gas that it's absolutely perfect for me. You can see the the second uh, commando now is. Uh, it's rank 3. I'm going to get rid of the mortar because that mortar is going to constantly shoot. Collect the tear gas, put it down. Don't waste any time if you have something that is going to protect your units just a bit. Just use it straight away. It's the same with decoys, it's the same with everything. If you have them, use them. In my case, I have there um, loads of riots. I'm well protected. Now, there is one veteran to. Uh, to go to actually succeed in what I wanted to do and there's the rank 2 there there we go rank 3 so my mission here was is done I uh, I did get my veterans that's what I wanted uh, I still have a plenty choice there to choose from whatever I need so focus fire on the outpost finish it well guys, that's how I get my veterans. And that's the end of this video. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, turn the notification on, you'll know when I upload next. Don't forget to leave a comment there, I'm replying to all of them. And guys, as always, I'll see you next video.